when was it that you actually did officially leave the the force and start your security company? Yeah. So I started my security company because actually I was just running death row security at that time. Um, I was so, uh, using a company called Code 4 uh, um, Security Company. And they were kind of letting me control their guys and stuff like that. But that was like in 90, 90, 94 to about 95. 95 is when I opened my own security company. And that's when I got my license, became the qualified manager and the owner operator, which is a hard thing to do, which I don't know about that, getting a PPO. I saw a video that the groupie did where he goes talking about Reggie didn't have a security company. He didn't become a security company mm-hmm. until 2002. You fucking stupid idiot because you ain't got no business sense. I was a fucking DBA from 95 until 2002, you retort. So tired of your groupie, opinionated. I'm straight this. Ain't nothing straight about you, but I'm straight this, straight that. And you want to keep talking about what you know and stuff like that. Get your facts right, nigga. Talking about he wasn't even paying. Death Row was paying. No, fool. I had about five other different contracts. And my my company was getting paid by, all my employees were getting paid by ADP company through Right Way Protective Services. If you go hear anything, ain't nobody but you out there trying to put out that. I don't even know why I keep addressing this fool, but he just, just set up and create things and make stuff like it's factual. Nigga, yeah, I got incorporated in 2002, but I was a DBA under Right Way, Pro- right way Protective Services doing business as Reginald L. Wright Jr. Or the other way around, however it went. Reginald L. Wright Jr. doing business as Right Way Protective Services. And y'all just go over there and listen to that fool and, and, and think that's factual. But I understand. I bet you all of y'all age group is between the age of 18 and 25 who's still sucking your mama titties and getting milk from them. Mama, can I get some gas money? Mama, can can can, can I use the internet right now? That's the type of kids y'all are that's over there supporting him. But anyway, go ahead, John. Yeah, and just a quick note on him. Um... To, you know, I, this isn't so much a question. This is more my my opinion on him. If you go back and look at the videos that he's done over the course of like five, six years, he's he's doing all this stuff to try to get some sort of fame or clout, as he calls it. He's tried to put out albums. He's put he's tried to film his kids to get the them to go viral. He got uh, kids. So people will license it. Yeah, he yeah, got yeah. kids. I don't know. I don't know if they're his kids. I shouldn't say that. So he filmed some kids, and you know he tried to say, if you want to license this, email me. And then he's done things as far as saying like Michael Jordan donates to Black Lives Matter. And then when you click and watch the video, there's about uh, maybe 15 seconds of Michael Jordan walking out of a, a restaurant or, or a club or something. You know that he he, he kind of did some some groupy footage. But then the whole rest of the video is an advertisement for his album which he calls himself the most prolific artist in rap music history uh yeah yeah prolific what has he done nothing nothing so i guess little kids they eat it up they love it people have to ask themselves what is his motive for putting for putting this information out you know uh, what does he get out of it? Uh, what is he trying to do? And you see that when he puts stuff out now, he's been trying to do this for five years. Nothing's worked. So now he's on to, you know what? I'm going to attack Reggie Wright. I'm going to use his name in every video. And then that's the only time he started to get a bunch of little views is when he attacks everything he tries to do about you, which is really just his opinion because he only has access to documents and contracts that are on the Internet. He doesn't have access to behind the scenes stuff. Let me tell you about people that didn't attack Reggie Wright. Uncle Fester, RJ Bond, where is he at? J Mix, the Meth Head, where is he at? Big Cass, where is he at? Lay Legend Home. 
Where's he's at? Tanique moves on. Other stuff. Done grew dreadlocks now. Looking like a fool out there. Where's he's at? You don't last too long when you keep attacking Reggie. Nino, y'all gonna see about Nino. Nino gonna get exposed real soon. That 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 just a little lightweight tap I just did on that video that I just released uh, last Sunday. Don't play with me, y'all. Play with me. I will deep deep and expose you. Y'all see none of the artists, all the artists hear what I be saying. Everybody hear what I'm saying. Why they don't tap back? Why they don't tap back? All right. Keep playing. You better go back. And then the other thing that I heard you go say, I'm jealous of him because he did a video that did 600,000 views on Art the Dialogue channel. I'm jealous. Y'all ask Art this. Ask him this. I did three videos. I did, I did a video with Art the Dialogue channel got over 500,000 views. But I'll just put up three videos. Three videos I did over there with Art the Dialogue to all the videos he's did. All he's did over there since he's been dealing with Art. And I bet you Three of my videos that I did over there on that channel with Art, because Art got a good following. I'm not saying it was because of me. I'm saying it's because of his channel. And that's what I'm saying about him. Three of them. Three of my videos that I did for Art. I bet you beat up total all of, all of his videos. And I did a total of about 25 to 30 videos total with Art's channel. So you think it's better business for that one little 600,000 video versus the amount of videos that I've did and generate with art? If anybody we all should be jealous of is my boy Kurt. Kurt Cobain. He did two million on one video. Come on, stop it, man. Stop it, groupie. I'm not jealous of that. Art, art's a good dude. Any money for him? Shit. I'm proud of. I'm not a, I'm not one to hate on black men. I'm just setting you the facts straight. You want to go and say that Pac wasn't signed to death row. So all I ever said is you got it wrong. You've been opinionated. The contract was a sign. But you want to keep dragging on this Reggie campaign. Well, but I understand why. It's been getting you 5,000 views. Like you say 3,000. Now you're getting 5,000. So you're growing a little bit. So I will keep it up. That's what you wanted to do. That's what you wanted. And somehow I done bit into it. But keep talking. Keep talking. Grown folks understand. All eyes on me. I heard his latest video wasn't owned by Death Row. Whew. Then if it wasn't owned by Death Row, why was I able to take it to D3 Entertainment, a little company in Redondo Beach? DNA, a little company in, 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 in Santa Monica. Not Santa Monica. In um, Sacramento, Koch Entertainment. Why was I able to take it to those three different companies? Interscope wasn't involved there anymore. They gave us our masters back, our catalog back, and was like, bye. Oh, even before that, I'm sorry, Priority, Brian Turner. You don't know the business. You think you do, but you got your little people that were over there want to believe it, but I know the facts. Facts is in there. DNA, Koch, all of that distribute All Eyes on Me and Machiavelli. Interscope was not involved. They have a distribution, an exclusive 
distribution deal with Universal Records. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't allow Death Row to take their, one of their biggest acts from them, meaning Interscope, and take it to these little small little independent companies. Now keep listening to that idiot. Keep listening to him. And keep in mind too, when he says that Tupac was assigned to Death Row, um, you've got Afeni who says Tupac was signed to Death Row because she put it in the, the Resurrection movie. You've got Tupac who says he was signed to Death Row, who wore the chain, who screamed Death Row on every song, including the three songs he recorded uh, the night before he was shot. My label, the notorious untouchable Death Row! Death Row to make a few fucking chains. And then you've also got this audio right here of Tupac saying that he signed with Death Row. I look for Death Row in the future, we finna come out pretty tight. No question, sign with Death Row. Right. And then obviously everybody we've ever asked when it comes to Napoleon or anybody that was close to Tupac all say that sounds crazy to say that he wasn't signed to Death Row. And then you've got one person. You've got one person saying that he wasn't signed to Death Row. So who do you want to believe it? You want to believe everybody, including Tupac and his mom, or you want to believe this guy who's so um, thirsty for fame and thirsty for views that he goes on rant campaigns as much as he can to try to disprove everything else? Okay. Yeah. Who do you believe in? <laughs>